Hey my beautiful Cancer peeps, what's going on everybody? It's Ant from Cancer Moons Tarot and I'm coming at y'all with your mid-September 2022 tarot reading. How are you? I hope y'all are well. Without further ado, we're going to jump on into it. Wrong button. We're going to jump on into it and we shall see what is up. What do we got going on here for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus regarding their mid-September 2022, please. What information do we have in store here for the Zodiac Signs of Cancerian, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus during mid-September 2022? Having a look here at your first card out we do have here the five of swords taking a look into the next card for you we also have here the lovers and then looking at the last two overall energies present here for you cancerian we also have here the hangman and we have here the chariot which is you so we got cancer energy popping out here with the chariot now jumping on into your reading here regarding mid-september let's go ahead and take a look at it well we got here five of swords we got the lovers we got the hangman and we got the chariot now five of swords coming into play here with a lover Lovers definitely tells to me or says to me that there's a little bit of a frustration right now in a connection in your life. Now, when I reference the word connection, it does not have to specifically be a romantic connection or even a connection to a physical, tangible being like a person. Uh, this could be a connection to yourself your spirit. It could be a connection to your job. It could be a connection to what it is you're passionate about. So I do see frustrations regarding something you're connected to. I think right now you're overall kind of feeling stuck here with the hangman coming into play. Hangman usually symbolizes delays or it symbolizes the energy of kind of feeling stuck and trapped. And with the chariot coming out here, especially being the last card, which is what I do like to see, it's like the energy is you're going to move out of this. So you're going to move out of being stagnant right now. Um, if you've been pretty frustrated, if you've been feeling a lot of resistance right now in something that you are connected to. Let's say that your relationship recently has had a little bit of its ups and downs and you've just been frustrated with your relationship. You kind of feel like there's just been a lot of resistance to see positive, impactful change. Then that hard time, that bump in the road is about to be really smoothed, uh, smoothened over, excuse me here, and you're going to see forward movement. It's like finally all this uh, stagnancy and all this energy and all this resistance is finally being freed. And it's like, I can feel like energies are flowing, things are moving again. And most importantly, I can feel like it's moving in the right direction. You know, this could be the same thing about work. Maybe you feel like if you're a cancer who's owned your own business, it's like work feels like it's been pretty up and down. You know, if that's the case here for you, you know, all this resistance, all this frustration, it's about to be eliminated. And then now it's going to start to feel like, oh, everything feels very smoothly again. It feels effortlessly again. You know, I could see that everything's starting to get rebuilt in a positive direction. So I have nothing else to worry about now going forward. Uh, so Cancer, any kind of kinks in the road, any kind of bumps in the road that you've been experiencing, whether it's in your tangible relationships, it's in your own personal life, it's in your working life, you're going to start to see things basically smoothen out here in mid-September 2022. Excuse me. <coughs> Thank you very much. Do not mind me today, y'all. I have quite a little bit of a scratchy throat, uh, so if I have to clear my throat and or cough, just bear with me, okay? All right, Cancer, so that's what we got here for the overall energies for your mid-month. Uh, let's go ahead and have a look here and see what'll be coming in here for you, okay? Uh, so what's gonna be coming in here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, regarding mid-September 2022? What do my beautiful Cancerian peeps have coming in here for them in their mid-September? First card out, we do got the Six of Cups. Pretty cool. Moving on forward to the next card for you, we do have here the Seven of Wands. And then looking at two more cards for what's coming in here for you, we also do have here the High Priestess, followed up here with the Eight of Swords. So let's go ahead and talk about it here for you. Well, Six of Cups here, Seven of Wands, High Priestess, Eight of Swords. Looking at what's coming in here for you, Cancer, let's start off with the Six of Cups here and the Seven of Wands. I definitely feel like... Things of the past may be come up or may be coming up here at this time. Mercury is in retrograde, so of course Mercury retrograde always has a tendency of bringing our past back up. So there could be things of the past coming up for you, but I feel like you're releasing them because when you look at the Six of Cups here, you know this individual is holding this Ace of Cups, and what's coming out of it is basically all the water, all the fishes. So it kind of feels to me here for you, Cancer, that you're going to be releasing your past. So that's something that you can expect here in mid-September. Now, Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is that resistance we were talking about earlier. You know how I said that with something you're really connected to. It just feels like there's been a lot of resistance and it's been frustrating you because it feels like something just can't flow smoothly and naturally. So that's going to be coming up in here for you as well in mid-September. But what's happening is that there's going to be a shift. 
because you got here at the high priestess. High priestess is your intuition. It is your higher self. It is the ability to connect to your spirit and your essence. So what's going to happen here is you're going to start to detach yourself from your ego, eight of swords, and you're going to start to resonate more with your higher vibrational self. And as your higher vibrational self, self excuse me, starts to come out more here this month, Cancer, it's really going to start to dissolve a lot of the resistance you've been experiencing. So what's coming up here for you is that you're going to notice, wait, I'm not in my head anymore, Eight of Swords. I'm not overthinking my situation anymore. I'm just listening to that inner being, that inner voice inside of me that's telling me what I should be doing. And as I'm listening to it, it's actually working. So you're going to notice you're not getting clouded by your ego anymore. You're not getting clouded by overthinking. You're not getting clouded by negativity or negative thoughts. It's like... I, I know what to do and I'm going to just do it. And as I'm doing it, it just works, you know? So for example, let's say you've been having troubles in paradise, troubles in a relationship. You know, your ego has been telling you constantly, cancer, something's wrong. Something's really wrong. Me and my partner have been nonstop bickering or we have not been able to agree on something. And all this time I have kept feeding into it. I have kept fighting it because I knew that things needed to be different than the way they were. And that was what you were thinking about for a while. That's the resistant energy you've been in for a while. Then you realize that the inner part of your being has always told you, Cancer, instead of like trying to fight right now for what you want, maybe back off a little bit and let things kind of unfold naturally. Give your partner a bit of breathing room to start to understand how you feel and understand where you're coming from and understand why you've been feeling the way you do because you've, be, you know, you've started to become aware. It's like the more that I'm kind of pushing what I desire onto somebody else, the more it's going to make them want to resist not only just listening to me, but even taking the action to make a change. So you knew all along on the inside, if I did back off, it probably would have made my partner come to terms sooner on how I was feeling and there would be less of a resistance to solve any sort of issues potentially that was occurring. Let's say here too, we're talking about your career. Let's say you're a Cancer who owns their own business. Maybe Eight of Swords, your thoughts have been flooded with lots of negativity. Your thoughts have been flooded with a lot of worries and with a lot of anxiety. I feel like my business is failing. I feel like I'm not making enough money or that I'm going to not end up making enough money to continue to do the business I'm doing. So with all these worries and anxieties, it's ended up creating you basically putting yourself in a position to where you're scared and where you started to believe you were failing, which has led you to operate less in a more efficient way. It's led you to feel more unfocused in the type of work that you're doing. It's led you to feel that no matter what I do, I feel like I can't save this, I feel like I can't succeed. Let's say that that was your case. Well, the inside of you, Cancer, that deep intuitive part of you was trying to tell you, well, Cancer, if you stopped worrying and you focused up and you continued to believe in yourself, and if you put forth the effort, then you know you'll be fine. At the end of the day, right, our perspective and our perception is our reality. So if we believe we're going to be okay, and if we believe we're going to be successful, and we're doing all the things that a successful person needs to do, we're going to have that success. We're going to be okay. So you're realizing, yeah, I kind of let the ego take over a little bit. I let the worry and the fear take over a little bit. I let the uh, persistency of not believing that I was going to get what I want, so I had to continue to try to make it happen, end up overtaking me when in actuality, all I really needed to do is listen to that intuitive voice inside my head that said, relax, take a deep breath. Everything's going to be just fine. Everything's going to work out just okay. And you were being called to kind of pull back a little bit. And now that you experience this, now that you realize this in mid-September, 2022, this is where the shift happens for you. It's like, wait, okay, now there's no more resistance. Now there's no more blockages. Now everything seems to be flowing effortlessly as it should be. Me and my partner aren't bickering and fighting anymore. We're listening to each other. My partner's understanding me. I'm understanding them. Our relationship's flowing. I'm not worried about losing my business anymore. I'm making money again and I'm focused and I'm working hard. My business is doing great. So it's like sometimes we can be the own, like we could be our own blockage in uh, what it is we want and desire, especially if we put what we want and what we desire on a bit of a pedestal. And if we start getting into an energy where we try too hard, sometimes what that tells the universe is that we don't believe that we can have what we want. So we need to do everything in our ability right now to try our best to save it. And that doesn't usually work out too well. 
you know? So Cancer, hopefully I'm making sense so far with this video. Not entirely sure if uh, the words that I am saying resonates or if it's understandable, but hopefully throughout the rest of the video, the insight that I do provide uh, will make more sense for you. So that's what I see coming in here for you, Cancer. I think that, you know, you're, you're still gonna be dealing with lots of resistance, but I think that you're also gonna be getting moments of the past coming up here for you too this month that you're going to need to purge out and release. Uh, but you're also gonna be noticing what's coming in here for you more specifically is finally listening to that higher vibrational side of yourself. Finally listening to what your intuition has been telling you all along. Like Cancer, you gotta quit the worrying. You know, Eight of Swords, you gotta really detach from the ego right now and realize that you're okay. Realize that everything's gonna be just fine. It's like the more that you've been putting energy into this worry, the more it's been creating resistance to get what you've wanted all along. All right, all right, Cancer. Let's go ahead though and move on forward. Uh, we're gonna take a look here now in uh, regards to what you may or may not be aware about in mid-September 2022. So what uh, what couple of things or what type of things may be going on here for Cancer that they may or may not be aware about regarding mid-September 2022, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What'll be going on here for the Zodiacs of Cancer that they may or may not be aware about? Seven of Swords. Yeah, I feel like that's ringing self-deception. I feel like what you're not aware about is that you were kind of your own blockage. So I feel like you weren't aware of that, but of course you're gonna become aware of that in mid-September. Moving into the next card, Three of Cups. There's a lot more happiness that is in store for you than you're seeing right now. There's a lot more good things going on right now than you are perceiving. Remember, where your attention goes is where energy flows. So if your attentiveness is only focused on things that are making a, ne a negative impact, you're only literally having a negative you know, perspective of what is going on in your life. The more that you tend to look at the positive things or the things that are going well for you in your life, the more positive energy you're drawing in, the more positive experiences you're drawing in. So remember where attention goes is where energy flows. And looking at two more cards here for you, we have the Nine of Pentacles, and then we do have here the Ten of Swords. Uh, so having a look at this as well for what you may or may not be aware about, you may not be aware that you're in this direction right now where if something is going to come to an ending, it's going to come to an ending at the hand of yourself. And I know that that sounds deep. I know that sounds intense. I know that that can be really hard to see. So for any Cancer who's watching, of course, if this is not resonating to you, don't apply this into your life because I know that hearing that can be pretty triggering for some people, right? Hearing that, well, if something's gonna end, it's gonna end because of you. Like, no one wants to hear that. Uh, but sometimes these are certain things we need to hear because if we're standing in our own way, if we're pushing ourselves away from the success that we want, we have to be able to take accountability for what we're doing wrong so that we cannot stand in the way of ourselves any longer and so that we can continue to flow in the direction we wish to. So Cancers, jumping into mid-September 2022, you know, for those of you that are like, I've been having tons of resistance in my relationship, well... What has your intuition been telling you all along? You know, has your intuition been saying, you know, there's no reason to worry right now about your relationship. There's no reason either to be constantly persistent about what you want, because what you want and what you desire, there is a solution there for both of you to get on board, for both of you to understand how to uh, get into a better place of communication. But it's going to require backing off a little bit, right? The more you try to kind of push something onto somebody, it's like the more they want to resist. Let's say in, in regards to work and you own your own business, you know, if you've been constantly worried that you're failing and that your business is going to come to an ending and if you've been constantly believing that, you know, no matter what, I can't save my business, I'm doing everything that I can to save it, but I feel like it's still going downhill. It's like all these thoughts and all this energy you've been putting into it has been pushing it in that direction. So as soon as we realize that we need to stop standing in the way of ourselves, that's how we avoid ending the things we care about. So... I think that that's something that was kind of like a very big uh, shock element that you'll be experiencing here when you do realize all this, when you do realize that you've kind of been standing in the way of yourself. And, uh, you know, you will come to terms here too with the Three of Cups that's like, there is actually a lot of good things going for me right now in my life too that I probably should invest a little bit more of my attention and of my energy into. So I do see that happening here for you. All right. Now moving along forward here for you, Cancer, we're going to go ahead and have a look here now and see what you can expect throughout the rest of mid-September 2022. What can my Cancerian peeps expect now, please, throughout the rest of their mid-September? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What can my Cancerian peeps expect now throughout the rest of their mid-September? First card out, we got the Ace of Wands. Hello. 
things are moving in a new direction for sure. And I also feel like things are getting reignited. What I mean by this for you, Cancer, is that now that you're not, not in the way of yourself, now that there's literally zero blockages, it feels good. You're passionate again. The spark has been reignited. I feel good, everything's moving, and it's moving in the direction that I wish it to be moving into. Moving into the next card, we got the Wheel of Fortune. It's like, oh my god, my life did a 180 right now. Uh, so you really feel like your life did a whole 180 degree, everything is turning in your favor, things are going back to the way that they were, but actually, in a sense, they're even better. You do got here the Page of Cups, and then looking at the last card for you, we have here the Queen of Wands, which is about like kind of getting your confidence back here too. Uh, so Cancer, you know, you found your groove again. You know, it's kind of like how Stella got her groove back. It's like Cancer, like you got your groove back here as well. So Ace of Wands here, Wheel of Fortune, we got here the Page of Cups, and we got here the Queen of Wands. You know, it's a whole 180 degree. I went from struggling to everything is working out again. I went from constantly babbling with my partner and trying to get on the same page with, with them. And then now I finally am on the same page with them. I went from, uh, you know, struggling at my job and uh, thinking that everything's going to fail to realizing that it actually never was at all and that I am quite successful, you know? So a lot of your perspectives here are changing, especially if you've been kind of in this doomy, gloomy mentality. Uh, give me one sec actually to talk about this because I think it's important. I've been in this mentality many, many times in my life as a Cancer. And what I like to call it is I like to call it the doomed mentality. Sometimes we get stuck in these thoughts of impending doom where we believe that there is not going to be a light at the end of the tunnel. There is not going to be one positive thing that comes from what's happening. What you loved and cared about is just going to end. So it's like you're waiting for doomsday, you know? So when we get stuck in the doomed mentality... It's very hard to recognize sometimes that maybe we were never doomed at all. Maybe this whole time, whatever we were doing had the ability to still continue to grow. But because we've made ourselves believe that something will not grow, it's just going to end and it's going to end and it's going to suck and you're never going to see what you love or care about again. When we choose that, we stand in the way of ourselves even more and we push ourselves off the cliff to end the things that we care about. So that's why it's very important to recognize sometimes when we are in the doomed mentality, because the more that we're involved in that, the more we're going to stand in front of our own way and basically push away the things we care about. So if we always realize that there's no such thing as doomsday, there's no such thing as the doomed mentality, and that we can truly, uh, well, I mean, there is such thing as the, dooms menta the doomed mentality, right? But it's a mentality that ends up being self-deceptive. If we can recognize that we truly aren't doomed if we choose not to be, then we can make these shifts and changes. So cancers, it's like as soon as you realize I've been standing in my way, I've been shooting my own self in the foot, it's like, all right, I can fucking start to breathe again. I can start to make my life go good again. And you start to get your confidence back here, most importantly, right? With the Queen of Wands, which is what I'd love to see here for you. Now, let's go ahead and get a little bit of advice here for you, Cancer, before we jump into your overall outcome. So what is going to be some advice here that Cancerian may need to hear that can help them best navigate throughout mid-September 2022? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is going to be a bit of advice here that can help them best navigate throughout the rest of their month? First card out, we do got here the King of Pentacles. Hello, stay grounded, my friends, is what the King of Pentacles here says. King of Pentacles is about staying grounded. Make sure that you're keeping yourself well put together. All right, we do have here the Three of Swords coming into play as well. Acknowledge your pain. Realize, too, that your feelings and emotions are important. You know, at the end of the day here, Cancer, there's a reason why you were in a period of resistance. There's a reason why what you wanted to work for you wasn't. And it's because you really, really cared about getting what you want. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with really caring about wanting your relationship to be in a good place or wanting your business to thrive or wanting your friendships to be in a positive place. You know, there's nothing wrong with really caring and really giving a fuck. But sometimes we can care and we can give so much of a fuck to the point where we end up pushing away what we care about. And as weird as that sounds, it's a very true phenomenon. So with the Three of Swords here to the Ten of Wands, it's like, universe is trying to say, it's not that your feelings weren't important, but the way you were going about it, Cancer, is what was pushing everything away from you. So that's why we need to acknowledge how to kind of like process our own feelings, our own worries, in ways that are healthy, but still are proactive. For example, let's say we're worried right now that we're going to lose our business. That's a valid thing to feel. I understand that. But how do we come up with a solution here, three of pentacles, in order to save it? 
right? Instead of allowing all those worries to continue to take over you, why don't we stop focusing on what the problem is, but now we start to turn our attention to the solution. So I feel like that's what's important, right? You know, let's say you've been having arguments, disagreements, you couldn't get on the same page with your romantic partner. It was stressing you out because you wanted to be on the same page with them, but like you felt like no matter what you were doing, nothing was working. Well, instead of getting caught inside your head and believing that, you know, me and my relationship partner, we're about to go into that stage of impending doom where we're going to end up breaking up because we just can't seem to be in a good place. You know, instead of believing that and kind of like trying to have your partner consistently understand you and consistently understand what it is that you're trying to have with them, why not focus and take the focus, excuse me, away from the problem and start to work towards a solution? Okay, if the solution that I wish to find is a solution that me and my partner can be on the same page... Well, constantly reiterating the problem most likely isn't going to be the way that we get on the same page. So what proactive things can I do right now so that me and my partner can start to learn how to understand where one another are coming from, so where we both have the opportunity to speak our feelings and emotions and be heard, and what can we do here to now start to be on that same page to where we can move away from things that negatively affect our relationship? And we can have that understanding of what those things are, you know? So at the end of the day, the more you had yourself focused on the problem, it wasn't pushing you closer to a solution, if that makes sense here, Cancer, okay? Uh, so that's what I have here in the land of advice. Now moving on to your overall outcome for mid-September 2022. What is going to be the overall outcome here for the zodiac signs of Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout mid-September 2022. That overall outcome here is going to be the Queen of Cups. I love it for you. I really do. Queen of Cups here says, time for me to get my fulfillment. Time for me also to recognize that life is good. Things are good. You know, if you pay close attention to the queen over here, she's quite happy. You know, she may not have water coming out of that cup, but she realizes that she's had water around her the entire time. You see what I'm saying here, Cancer? It's like, you thought you had an empty cup. You thought you didn't have fulfillment. You thought you didn't have everything that you've wanted this whole entire time, but you were surrounded by it the whole entire time. And that is the awakening. That is the realization you're having. It's like, holy crap, I thought I didn't have success anymore. I thought me and my, my partner were, were just not happy or not in love anymore. But it's like, it was always surrounded by you this entire time. And now that you can see that, you can really break away from kind of like shooting yourself in the foot or standing in front of yourself. And you can start to now find some solutions and see solutions instead of only reiterating and continuing to focus on problems. So Cancer, that's what I have here in store for you. Of course, do take it if it resonates, leave it if it doesn't. Um, I hope I explained this, this uh, reading in a way that was understandable. Um, I feel like maybe I didn't have the best communication at certain times, but of course with Mercury and retrograde, it's not very easy to always convey certain types of messages, but uh, if it does resonate to you, if it does help, I'm more than happy that it did. Uh, do keep in mind that this reading makes no sense to you. That's totally okay. Uh, these readings cannot resonate to every cancer out there in the world. So if it's not your story, if it makes no sense, don't force it to apply to you. Uh, you can always feel free to check out any future videos that I post or any other awesome tarot readers that are on the YouTube platform, okay? Um, if you are new here, please do consider subscribing also. That would be gratefully appreciated. And without a further ado, cancer, much love to you. Enjoy September and I will catch you guys in October 2022. See you guys later. Peace.